Hello students, today let us discuss the properties of normals to the ellipse. So the concept is properties of normals to the ellipse. What are they? Let us see. This is the property. If the normal at any point P on the ellipse, x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1, meets the axis at g and small g respectively, that is x axis at capital G, y axis at small g respectively, then we have to show that the ratio of P g and P small g is b square is to a square. So you have to show that P g is to P small g is B square is to A square. You have to prove that. So what is the property here? You take normal at any point on the ellipse. It intersects the coordinate axis at capital G and small g respectively. P is the point on the ellipse. So you have to show that the ratio of the distances from p to g as well as the distance from p to small g is b square is to a square. This is your aim. So, suppose the equation of normal at p of theta meets the coordinate axis at small g comma capital G respectively. That is uh, x axis at capital G and y axis at G. I mean the normal at P of theta meets the coordinate axis at capital G and small g respectively. So this is x axis. This is the corresponding y axis. This is the ellipse. x square by a square plus y square by b square is equals to 1. This is the center of the ellipse. And Consider the point P whose coordinates are a cos theta comma b sin theta. This is P. P of theta means P a cos theta comma b sin theta. This is the normal drawn at P to the ellipse. It intersects the x axis at what? This point and y axis at this point. This is capital G. This is the point small g. This is the point capital G. This is the point small g where the normal intersects the coordinate axis, x axis and y axis respectively. Okay. Now, what is the equation of normal at P of theta? We know that that is ax by cos theta minus by by sin theta is equals to a square minus b square. What is your target? You have to show that the ratio PG P to G. This is PG. This is P small g. PG is to PZ is equals to B square is to A square. One is capital G and uh, second one is small g. They are represented in this manner. So these two capital G and small g are the points of intersections where the normal intersects the coordinate axis. In this manner we draw the normal at P and we are going to solve the normal equation to the x axis and y axis. We get uh, capital G coordinates as well as the small g coordinates and proceed the following. The equation of normal at P of theta is what? Ax by cos theta minus by by sin theta is equals to a square minus b square. So I write this equation in the intercept form that is uh, x by a square minus b square into cos theta by a minus y by a square minus b square into sin theta by b is equals to 1. You take minus here in the denominator, perfectly you get the intercept form x by a plus y by b equal to 1. Is this comma 0 is x, x coordinate that is the coordinates of g and 0 comma this point, this value gives the coordinates of small g. Okay. So the capital G is equals to a square minus b square into cos theta by a comma 0 and the coordinates of small g are 0 comma minus of a square minus b square into sin theta by b because you take this minus to here it will be y intercept. So x intercept comma 0 gives the coordinates of g and 0 comma y intercept gives the coordinates of small g. So we have small g and capital G coordinates. 
Now, what is my point P? P is A cos theta comma B sin theta, right? X axis divides PG in the ratio what? Minus Y1 is to Y2. We know this concept in the first year concept. Actually, this is X axis. Suppose the point this is X1 comma Y1. This is X2 comma Y2. Then X axis divides in the ratio what? Minus Y1 is to Y2. That is minus Y1 is to y2 if it is x-axis. Similarly, y-axis divides the same line segment joining of x1, y1, x2, y2 in the ratio what? Minus x1 is to x2. So here is x-axis divides pg in the ratio minus y1 is to y2. So what are the coordinates of p here? a cos theta comma b sin theta. What are the coordinates of small g here? 0 comma minus of a square minus b square into sin theta by b minus y1 is to y2 that means what minus b sin theta is to minus of a square minus b square sin theta by b so the ratio e of p g by p small g p small g by p e capital g by p small g is equals to minus b sin theta by minus of a square minus b square sin theta by b let us see this is the this is the ellipse, this is my point, P G by P small g is nothing but what? The x axis divides the line segment P small g in the ratio P G is to P small g, okay? So P G by G G is equals to, this is x axis, x axis divides in the ratio P G is to G G. So we have to find out pg by p small g in the in this way we have to first find out the ratio pg is to gg this is nothing but what minus y1 is to y2 already we discussed it minus y1 means what minus b sin theta by minus of a square minus b square into sin theta by b minus minus gets cancelled we obtain b square by a square minus b square sin theta sin theta is also gets cancelled this b becomes to the numerator b into b b square so b square by a square minus b square so p g by g g is equals to b square by a square minus b square what is capital g small g distance this is nothing but g g is nothing but p small g minus p g p small g minus p g so p g by g g is nothing but p g by p small g minus p g is equals to b square by a square minus b square. What we have to find out? We have to find out the ratio p capital G is to p small g. From this we can easily cross multiply and you can find the ratio p capital G is to p small g. Am I correct or not? I am just cross multiplying a square minus b square times of p g is equals to b square p g minus b square p g. So here b square capital P G and b square capital P G should be gets cancelled out. Then we have a square P G is equals to b square P G. So immediately we obtain the ratio P G by P small g is equals to b square by a square. So without finding the distances from P2 capital G and P2 small g, we can easily find the ratio P G by p small g is equals to b square by a square by using the x axis divides the line segment joining of x1 y1 x2 y2 in the ratio minus y1 is to y2 that is the concept mainly we have used in this proof okay p g by all p g p capital g by p small g is equals to b square by a square hence the ratio is what p g is to p small g is equals to b square is to a square hence proved let us see the next property if p is any point on the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 with their foci at s and s dash then the normal at any point p on the ellipse is internal angular bisector of angle s dash p s already we discussed that the tangent at p is external angular bisector of angle s dash p s here in the properties of normals the normal at p is what internal angular bisector this is what internal angular bisector 
In angular bisector means what? The line which divides the angle between the two given lines is called angular bisector. Internal angular bisector means that divides internally. If that uh, line divides externally, that is called external angular bisector. So, P is any point on the ellipse that is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 having their foci at s and s dash normal at p on the ellipse is the internal angular bisector of angle s dash p s you have to prove that so how to prove this one this is my x axis y axis it is the equation of the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. This is the graph related to x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. This is uh, one focus s dash as shown in the figure. This is the another focus s. Okay. Now let us take some point p on the ellipse as shown in the figure. This is the quad, this is the point p. Now this is the normal at p. This is the normal at P. Normal at P means the line perpendicular to tangent at P. This is the normal at P. Okay. The normal at P intersects the x axis at G as shown in the figure. Right. This is the line joining of S dash P and this is the line joining of S P. So this is the diagram. What we have to show now? We have to show that this normal at P this normal at P is the internal angular bisector of S dash P S. This is my S dash P S. Okay. Internal angular bisector. Internal angular bisector means the angles from here to here. The angle from here to here must and should be equal as shown in this figure. This is the angle S dash P S and this is theta C. This is the angle G P S, yes, this is also theta. So we have to show that these two angles are must and should be equal. Then the normal at P becomes what? Internal angular bisector of the angle S dash P S. So for this, consider this triangle. This is the triangle. What is the triangle? P S dash S. For this triangle, we have to show that this is internal angular bisector. You need to show that the ratio of P S dash by P S is equals to S dash G by G S. S dash G by G S. Then your problem becomes over. So these two angles are equal. It is enough to show that the ratio of P S dash and P S should be equal to the ratio of S dash G to G S. Then your problem becomes over. Okay. So, suppose the normal at P of theta meets the major axis at G as shown in the figure. What is the equation of normal at P of theta? The equation of normal at P of theta is AX by cos theta minus BY by sin theta is equals to A square minus B square. So, to get the coordinates of G, what you have to do? Solve with X axis. What is the equation of X axis? Y equal to 0. Put Y equal to 0 in this equation. This term becomes 0. So, Ax by cos theta is equal to a square minus b square. From that you can easily calculate the value of x. x is equal to a square minus b square into cos theta by a. This is the value of x. So, what are the coordinates of g? The coordinates of g are x comma 0. So, you can easily write the coordinates of g. g is equal to a square minus b square into cos theta by a comma 0. Already we know the coordinates of s are a e comma 0 and the coordinates of s dash are minus a e comma 0. So, can you find the distances of sp and s dash p immediately or not? sp is nothing but the focal distance from the point p to focus. Similarly, s dash p is the focal distance of the same point p to the another focus s dash. What is sp? And uh, s dash, sp dash x1 plus r minus a e. The focal distance of point x1 comma y1 on the ellipse is nothing but x1 plus r minus a e. What is here x1? x1 is nothing but a cos theta. We are taking the point in the parametric form. So we can easily write the distances sp and s dash p. So what is your aim? We have to show that s dash p g is equal to angle g p s. So s dash p g. This is s dash p g is equal to angle g p s. 
that is your aim so it is enough to show that s dash p by s p is equal to s dash g by s g already we discussed what we have to prove this is your aim now what is s p what is s dash p s p the distance from here to here s p so it is nothing but a plus s dash p is equals to a plus a e cos theta and s p is equals to a minus a e cos theta already we discussed what is the distance focal distance x1 plus r minus a e x1 is equals to a cos theta plus r minus a e so this is for this is for a, this is a cos a, a e comma 0 this is a cos theta comma b sin theta here to here the distance is a minus a e cos theta the distance from here to here is a plus a e cos theta so s dash p by s p is equals to a plus a e cos theta by a minus a e cos theta taking a outside cancel it and we obtain 1 plus e cos theta by 1 minus e cos theta keep one side s dash p by s p that is nothing but 1 plus e cos theta by 1 minus e cos theta similarly we can find the distances from s dash g and g s if the ratio is same as 1 plus e cos theta by 1 minus e cos theta your problem is over now s dash g is what a square minus b square into cos theta by a plus a e that is equals to a square minus b square into cos theta plus a square e by a by taking the LCM a into a use a square so this is the distance from s dash to g similarly we can find the distance from s to g as minus of a square minus b square into cos theta by a <coughs> minus a e plus a e this is plus here plus a e will be there so minus of a square minus b square into cos theta plus a square e by a so we have s dash g and s g obtained just you find the ratio s dash g by s g is equals to a square minus b square into cos theta plus a square e by minus of a square plus b square cos theta plus a square e here plus will be there okay that is nothing but a square e square cos theta plus a square e by minus a square e square cos theta plus a square e because a square minus b square is nothing but what a square e square since b square is equal to a square into 1 minus e square from that concept we can write a square minus b square as a square e square you can take a square e as common we obtain the a square e into 1 plus e cos theta by a square e into 1 minus e cos theta a square e a square e gets cancelled we obtain 1 plus e cos theta by 1 minus e cos theta it is nothing but s p s dash p by s p okay so we obtain s dash p by s p is equal to s dash g by g s hence the normal is angular bisector of angle s dash p s hence proved okay this is the important property related to the normals so with the help of the above concepts let us see some problems related to them this is the problem if the normal at the point p 2 comma 3 root 3 by 2 meets the major axis of the ellipse x square by 16 plus y square by 9 equal to 1 at q so some normal is drawn at p to the ellipse that meets the major axis of the ellipse at q s and s dash are the foci of the ellipse then you have to find out the ratio of s q is to s dash q you have to find out the ratio of s q is to s dash q already we discussed that s q is to s dash q is nothing but p s is to p s dash am i correct or not in the above concept the normal at p is the internal angular bisector of angle s dash p s that is why what is our p 2 comma 3 root 3 by 2 is my point p you, you no need to write the equation of normal at p solve with x axis and find the coordinates of q and find s q and s dash q no need to find all these things you just find the s p and s dash p then your job is over by the above concept s q by s dash q s q by s dash q is nothing but s p by s dash p from the previous concept what is s p 1 minus e cos theta s p means the distance from s a e comma 0 to p a cos theta comma b sin theta here the p is what 2 comma 3 root 3 by 2 
3 root 3 by 2. This is the point P. So, SP is equal to 1 minus E cos theta. S dash P is equal to 1 plus E cos theta. So, SP by S dash P is equal to 1 minus E cos theta by 1 plus E cos theta. From the equation of the ellipse itself, you can find the eccentricity of the ellipse and you can easily find the cos theta value. So, this is 2. What is 2? X coordinate. From the X coordinate, you can calculate the cos theta because x cos theta is equal, a cos theta is equal to 2. So, what is a here? 4. Because a square is equal to 16, the value of a is 4. So, 4 cos theta is equal to 2. Cos theta is nothing but 1 by 2. Cos theta is obtained. You can find easily the eccentricity of the ellipse. Eccentricity is nothing but root of a square minus b square by a square. That is 16 minus 9 by 16. That is root 7 by 4. You have the eccentricity and cos theta. You just keep the values of the eccentricity and cos theta here itself. You obtain the sp by s dash p. That is nothing but sq by s dash q. Understand? So, sq by s dash q is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 2 into root 7 by 4 by 1 plus 1 by 2 into root 7 by 4. 2 fours are 8. Take 8, 8 as LCM and cancel out the 8. We obtain 8 minus root 7 by 8 plus root 7 is the simplified value. So, sq is to s dash q is nothing but 8 minus root 7 is to 8 plus root 7. So, once if you know that property, you no need to find the points of point of intersection of the normal to the x axis and the distances sq and s dash q. Instead of the finding the distances sq and sq dash, you just find sp and s dash p. It is very easy for you. That is nothing but focal distance. sp is nothing but a into 1 minus e cos theta. s dash p is nothing but a into 1 plus e cos theta. On the ratio a and a dash are cancelled out here. Okay. Actually, sp is what? a into 1 minus e cos theta. s dash p is nothing but a into 1 plus e cos theta. On taking the ratio a and a dash gets a cancel. So, sp by s dash p is nothing but 1 minus e cos theta by 1 plus e cos theta is obtained. Understand? In this manner, we can find easily the ratio sq by s dash q. That is 8 minus root 7 by 8 plus root 7. Okay. See this problem. An ellipse has the point points 1 comma minus 1 and 2 comma minus 1 as foci. So the coordinates of the two foci are given to you and x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 as one of its tangent. One of the tangent is also given to you. Then the point where this line touches the ellipse. See this question very interesting. There is no ellipse equation here okay just they are given the foci of the ellipse and one of the tangent is also given to you you have to find out the coordinates of the point where this line touches our ellipse where the tangent touches the ellipse so if you have the equation of ellipse and tangent equation it is very easy to find the point of contact by write the pole formula minus a square l by n comma minus b square m by n but it, it has no ellipse equation so it is not way to find the equation of ellipse by using this foci and this tangent it is difficult to you so with the help of the given information how to find the coordinates of the point of contact of the tangent to the ellipse let us see by using the above property how to solve this one okay this is uh, axis of the ellipse that is nothing but line joining of your foci 1 comma minus 1 and 2 comma minus 1. This is the ellipse corresponding ellipse. These are foci. One focus is 1 comma minus 1. This is a s dash. This is the another focus 2 comma minus 1 say s. These are the foci of the ellipse. This is uh, Point of contact. This is the point what you are going to find out. Point of contact of the tangent. This is P say. This is the tangent. Its equation is what? X plus Y minus 5 equal to 0. X plus Y minus 5 equal to 0. This is the information given to you. So just they are given two foci of the ellipse. One of the tangent equation is given to you. 
you have to find out this point of contact you don't have the another information so how to deal this question how to find the point of contact this is your question so my idea is this tangent is what external angular bisector this tangent is external angular bisector of angle s dash p s external angular bisector of angle s dash p s so if you take any point here that means if you find the image of s with respect to tangent image with respect to tangent then the image point and p and s dash are collinear am i correct or not by the property of the angular bisector so if you take angular bisector this is the external angular bisector of what angle s dash p s angle s dash p s so this is s you find the image of s with respect to this tangent image of with respect to the tangent then suppose if it is say s double dash s double dash p s is an isosceles triangle isosceles triangle this is the isosceles triangle it will be formed i will show it after some time then by the line joining of s dash p s dash gives what collinear these three points collinear so find the line joining of s dash p s dash and solve with this tangent we obtain this point this is your point of contact this is your point of contact that is the idea of the problem so what is the definition of the angular bisector locus of the point which is equidistant from the two given lines is nothing but angular bisector that is the definition okay so with the help of that concept we can easily find the coordinates of p let us see here this is s dash p this is s p so this is the tangent external angular bisector of this angle s dash p s so i am going to find the image of s with respect to tangent that is the image say s double dash so s double dash is what image of s with respect to the tangent because this tangent is the angular bisector so if you take any point here this is my point the distance from here to here and here to here is same so that is the definition of the angular bisector from the definition of the angular bisector now the s double dash and p and s dash are collinear am i correct or not this is the way in this manner we can find the first of all s double dash and find the line joining of s dash s double dash we get some line equation of s dash s double dash and already we know the equation of tangent by solving these two equations we get the coordinates of p we get the coordinates of p so the problem entire problem is behind this logic what is the logic the image the image of the point of what s with respect to the tangent similarly in this same manner we can find the image of s dash with respect to the same tangent then the image p and s are collinear s are collinear so you can find the image of any one of the focus with respect to the tangent and join the image to the another focus and solve with that tangent at p we get the required coordinates of the point of contact of the point p with respect to the ellipse this is the idea of the problem so s double dash is what image of s with respect to the line x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 you can find the image as s double dash is equal to 6 comma 3 and line joining of s s dash is what y plus 1 is equal to 4 by 5 times of x minus 1 you just find the slope of the line and take one point you can easily write the equation of s s dash that is 4x minus 5y minus 9 is equals to 0 so by solving these two equations x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 and 4x minus 5y minus 9 is equals to 0 we obtain the point of intersection that is p is equal to 34 by 9 comma 11 by 9 this is the point of intersection of the two lines that is one is tangent and other one is s dash s double dash so this point p is itself your point of contact of the tangent your point of contact of this tangent okay so this is the external angular bisector of the lines this is the line 
this is the line s double dash s dash similarly sp this is the sp line so this is the internal angular bisector okay external angular bisector this is the external angular bisector that is why if you find the image of s with respect to the tangent then the image and p and s dash will be collinear that is the logic so the point of contact is obtained as 34 by 9 comma 11 by 9 understand see this one the normal at a variable point p on the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 of the eccentricity e meets the axis of the ellipse at q and r then the locus of midpoint of q r is another conic having eccentricity e dash then what is e dash that is the question so the normal at a variable point p on the ellipse of eccentricity e meets the axis of the ellipse at q and r respectively so you take any point p on the ellipse draw the normal that intersects the coordinate axis at q and r respectively for different different normals you obtain different different qrs you can find the midpoint of their pairs of qrs you get some locus that is a conic you have to show that the eccentricity of that conic e dash is equal to something what is that you have to find out understand so suppose the normal at p of theta to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 meets the coordinate axis at q and r respectively so this is x axis that is the axis of the ellipse y axis this is the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 consider the point p this is the any point p on the ellipse now we draw the normal at p this is p this is the normal at p intersects the x axis at here and y axis at here so this is the point of intersection with x axis that is q say this is the point of intersection with y axis and r say what you have to find out you have to find out the locus of midpoint of qr this is the one of the normal you can draw infinite number of normals you can get infinite number of pairs of qrs you get infinite number of midpoints this is the midpoint so you have to find out the locus of all such type of the midpoints of the qrs so how to get qrs if you change the normal position you get another pair of qr you take the midpoint of all such type of qrs you get some locus you get the eccentricity of that corresponding locus as conic Equation of normal at P of theta is what now? Ax by cos theta minus By by sin theta is equals to A square minus B square. Now we write this in the intercept form. X by A square minus B square into cos theta by A plus Y by minus of A square minus B square into sin theta by B is equals to 1. Understand? So immediately we obtain the coordinates of QR. A square minus B square into cos theta by A comma 0 and RR. 0 comma minus of a square minus b square into sin theta by b. These are the coordinates of q and r. Can I find the midpoint of q or or not? Immediately you can easily find out that. Let m x1 comma y1 be the midpoint of q or. So this is the m x1 comma y1. This is one of my point on the locus x1 comma y1. Can I find immediately the q or coordinates or not? Q R coordinates are Q A square minus B square into cos theta by A comma 0 R is this. Can I find the midpoint of the coordinates of Q comma R or not? Original midpoint equate to that X1 comma Y1. So this is my midpoint of Q R as shown in the figure. This is Q R. This is my midpoint. This is M. We have to find out the locus of this point as shown in this figure. Understand? Now x1 comma y1 is equals to a square minus b square into cos theta by 2a comma minus of a square minus b square into sin theta by 2b by equating x1 comma y1 to the original midpoint. So from that uh, equa equating of the coordinates cos theta is obtained as 2a x1 by a square minus b square and sin theta is equal to minus 2b y1 by a square minus b square. Can I eliminate this theta or not? Immediately we can eliminate by squaring and adding. So 4a square x1 square by a square minus b square whole square 
plus 4b square y1 square by a square minus b square whole square is equals to 1. Can you write the locus of x1 y1 or not? So the locus of x1 y1 is can be written as x square whole divided by a square minus b square whole square by 4a square plus y square by a square minus b square whole square by 4b square. I am taking 4a square and 4b square to the denominator. So this is your a square. This is your b square is equals to 1. Is equal to 1 will be there. So the required locus is an ellipse. Is equals to 1 should be there. Okay. This is the ellipse. We have to find out the eccentricity of this ellipse. E dash is equal to root of a square minus b square whole square by 4b square minus a square minus b square whole square by 4a square by a square minus b square whole square by 4b square. Root of a square minus b square by a square is applied for this ellipse. So it is nothing but on simplifying a square minus b square, a square minus b square whole square will be gets cancelled. 4, 4, 4 also gets cancelled. We obtain root of a square minus b square by a square by taking the LCM itself. You get it is E. So the required locus is an ellipse and having the eccentricity as E dash that is equivalent to what? E. This is your logic. So once if you have the locus, you can easily find the eccentricity. Your locus is an ellipse. By finding the eccentricity of ellipse required locus, uh, you have E dash that is equivalent to what? E. They are asking what is E dash? The E dash is equivalent to what? My eccentricity of the ellipse E. So the logic is you write the normal at theta and solve with the coordinate axis. Take the points Q and R and just to find the midpoint of QR as M, equate that X1, Y1 to the original coordinates of the midpoint and eliminate theta. We obtain the locus. From that locus, you write the eccentricity and you show that as E. Understand? So E is equals to E dash is obtained. Let us see one more problem. Any alternate MP of the ellipse x square by 25 plus y square by 9 is equals to 1 meets the axillary circle at Q. What is MP? This is ordinate of the point. MP is ordinate of an ellipse x square by 25 plus y square by 9 equal to 1 meets the axillary circle at Q. The locus of point of intersection of normal at P and Q to the respective curves is what? That is the question. So, one ellipse is given to you, its corresponding axillary circle will be exist. Take any ordinate MP, it meets the axillary circle at Q. You have point P and Q. So, the normal, the locus of the point of intersection of normals at P and Q to the respective curves is what they are asking. P is what? P is any point on the ellipse. MP is ordinate of P. MP is ordinate of P and produce MP up to Q where it meets the axillary circle. Let us see the diagram. This is the axis, x-axis, axis of the ellipse. x square by 25 plus y square by 9 is equals to 1 as shown in the figure. This is the ellipse equation, corresponding equation. x square by 25 plus y square by 9 is equals to 1. Okay. This is the center of the ellipse. C. Okay. It is the corresponding axillary circle. What is axillary circle? The circle described on major axis diameter is called axillary circle. This is my point P as shown in the figure. What you have to write? We have to draw the ordinate MP. See this? This is the ordinate. Ordinate means the line which is passing through P perpendicular to the axis. X axis here. This is the point of intersection of the ordinate with the x-axis. Say M. This is my corresponding point Q on the axillary circle Q. This is the diagram. So, if you draw the ordinate of P meets the x-axis at M and uh, corresponding axillary circle at Q. This is the ordinate. Next, what is your job? You draw the normal at this point and you draw the normal at this point. They intersect at some point. You have to find out the locus of their point of intersection. You have to find out the locus of their point of intersection of the normals drawn at P and Q as shown in the figure. This is the tangent at P. This is the tangent at Q as shown in the figure. 
Can you draw the normals at P and Q respectively to the curves or not? Yes, this is the normal at P drawn to the ellipse. Similarly, this is a normal drawn at Q to the axillary circle. We know that normal at any point on the circle is always passing through the center of the circle. That is why I am tending the normal to the center of the ellipse. So this is the normal at P to the ellipse. This is the normal at Q to the corresponding axillary circle. See here, as shown in the figure, this is my point of intersection of these normals. Yes, that is the point as shown in the figure. This is say R. We have to find out the locus of the point of intersection of the normals drawn at P and Q respective curves is my R. We have to find out that locus of R. So how to start this question? We take any point P on the ellipse. First of all, what is P? A cos theta comma B sin theta. What are the coordinates of P? 5 cos theta comma 3 sin theta. A square is 25 implies A equal to 5. B square is equal to 9 implies B is equal to 3. So 5 cos theta comma 3 sin theta is any point on the ellipse. So what are the corresponding coordinates of Q? 5 cos theta comma 5 sin theta. Because on ordinate, this is the ordinate. On ordinate, which one is fixed? Abscissa is fixed. So, 5 cos theta is fixed. This is 5 cos theta. This is 5 sin theta because the equation of circle is what? x square plus y square is equal to 25. Axillary circle. The parametric corresponding point is what? a cos theta comma a sin theta. So, the coordinates of q are 5 cos theta comma 5 sin theta. Okay. Now, what is the equation of normal at P of theta? Ax by cos theta minus By by sin theta is equals to A square minus B square. 25 minus 9 is what? 16. So, 5x by cos theta minus 3y by sin theta is equal to 16. This is the equation number 1. Similarly, normal at Q of theta is what? y is equal to tan theta into x because this is A cos theta comma A sin theta. I mean, 5 cos theta comma 5 sin theta. What is the center of the circle 0 comma 0 what is the slope cos theta this is a cos theta comma b sin theta a cos theta comma a sin theta means 5 cos theta comma 5 sin theta so 5 cos theta comma 5 sin theta is q c is 0 comma 0 just to find the slope what happened tan theta this is tan slope of the line is tan theta and my point is what 0 comma 0 so can i write the equation of normal or not y is equal to tan theta into x you take this point as x1 comma y1, you substitute x1 comma y1 in the both the equations and solve that. For my sake of convenience, you just take the coordinates of r or x comma y itself just by solving these two equations. Now tan theta is y by x. From this tan theta, can I calculate the cos theta and sin theta or not? So sin theta is nothing but y by root of x square plus y square and cos theta is nothing but x by root of x square plus y square. If you take this r as x1 comma y1, you change this all things as y1, x1, y1 like this. So for my sake of convenience, the point r as x comma y, you can write easily sin theta as y by root of x square plus y square, cos theta as x by root of x square plus y square. Keep just these two values in the above equation 1 itself. You get elimination of the cos theta and sin theta. Directly we obtain the locus. That is the idea of the problem. So 5x by x by root of x square plus y square minus 3 by y y by root of x square plus y square equal to 16. So here xx gets cancelled, yy gets cancelled, root of x square plus y square coming to the numerator and 5 minus 3 times of root of x square minus y square is equal to 16. What is 5 minus 3? 2. So 2 times of root of x square minus y square is equal to 16 and squaring we obtain x square plus y square equal to 64. These two cancel out 8 times. Root of x square plus y square equal to 8. On squaring on both sides we obtain x square plus y square equal to 64. So the required locus is a circle. So x square plus y square is equal to 64. In the entire problem the basic thing is here normal at any point on the ellipse sorry normal at any point on the circle always passing through center of the circle. That is the main important concept. Once if you know this logic, it is easy to find the normal equation drawn at uh, the point Q to the circle. And moreover, after getting the tan theta, you need to find sin theta and cos theta. This is also very, very important step. Also find the sin theta and cos theta. Keep the values in the above equation. 
Then in this manner, we obtain the elimination of cos theta and sin theta. After that, we get the locus. That is 2 into root of x square plus y square equal to 16 as x square plus y square is equal to 64. So, in this manner, we can find the locus of the point of intersection of normals drawn at the point on the ellipse and corresponding point on the axillary circle as an another circle that is x square plus y square is equal to 64. Okay, thank you very much.